Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I have a few closing comments, but with your permission, I would want to make some comments not related to the bill before us, and which, was, which I really wanted to do at the beginning, but I'm doing it now. The first one is to commend the NIC on the initiative for uh, Sneaker Day, Mr. Speaker. I believe that this supports the initiative by the Ministry of Health for St. Lucia Moves. And from where I sit and stand, I believe that the two initiatives need to be um, moved forward in a much progressive way. So we should not only have a sneaker day, but we should really try to introduce it a lot more often. There's an issue of movements and walking for our citizens is critical. So I really want to commend the, to the NIC, I want to commend the Minister for Health, but I believe that this is an issue that we have to do a lot more um, to get into the psyche of our citizens. So that's the first one, Mr. Speaker. The second, I speak as the Minister for Commerce to inform you, Mr. Speaker, and the general public that tomorrow, God willing, is MSME Day, Mr. Speaker. And I want to use that moment to encourage all citizens of St. Lucia to make an effort to buy something local tomorrow. You support, purchase something that was made in St. Lucia. And I also want to encourage us to support small business. This government has made a significant investment, both within, with the youth economy and with our MSME loan program. But this, this investment by the government must be supported by the citizens of St. Lucia. So I want to take this moment to encourage them. I want to also um, commend and congratulate the small businesses and our young persons who have started businesses. And thirdly, Mr. Speaker, I want to express deepest condolences to the family of nurse Janetta and Charles, a nurse that has served the community of, of Sufre and the constituency for a long time, and she passed this week, and I want to express my condolences. So, Mr. Speaker, for in closing comments on the bill before us, I heard the passionate um, presentation by the member for Beaufort South, and I understand the concerns that he has expressed, and that is that we must not over-regulate, and at the same time that we must take off the layers, do not add layers of bureaucracy. Um, the ministry that I represent, the Ministry of Commerce, is also tasked with the responsibility for ensuring that we um, cause businesses the ease of doing business. We have the full responsibility for it, but it impacts all what other ministries does. So, I heard very clearly the, the members' concern that we should balance the whole issue of control. Um, but what I want to add is that particular bill we have before us, the focus is on risk. Um, one of the things that I, I want to give the, the member my, my word on that, that I will interact with the member for the Minister for the Public Service who is not in the House today to see how best we interact with the two registrars. I know we now have the DigiGov process um, in terms of the online, trying to get the registry online. And, and you are correct, um, member, that an individual wanting that information or applying maybe ought not even to leave the, the office, but to apply online where one registrar should be able to give an okay or an authorization online and the other one taking it from there. So I'm giving you a commitment that I will put this high up on my agenda that we will look at the processes as much as possible to uh, make this a lot easier. So with this US, Mr. Speaker, for the bill before us, the focus is on minimizing the risk to the general public. But I'm given a commitment here that we will, based on the comments made by the honorable member, that we look at the processes in this. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.